All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today we're going to take a look at the U.S. Heavy Tank T-29. But before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to the skin that's on this vehicle. It was created by WT Runner, and I will provide a link down in the video description to his live WarThunder.com profile, where you can find this skin and many other wonderful skins that he has created. Now the heavy tank T-29 was an American developmental heavy tank started in March 1944 to counter the appearance of the Tiger II at Normandy. The T-29 was not ready in time for the war in Europe, but it did provide post-war engineers with the opportunity to apply the engineering concepts and practical applications for heavy tank designs. The T-29 was based upon a lengthened version of the T-26E3 chassis that entered service as the M26 Pershing and weighed in at around 45 short tons. It was not considered heavily enough armed or armored to counter the Tiger II, which weighed closer to 69 tons. The T-29 featured heavier armor and an upgraded Ford GAC engine providing about 770 brake horsepower, more comfortable controls for the driver, and a massive new turret incorporating the high-velocity 105mm T5 gun. It weighed approximately 132,000 pounds or 60 tons empty and 141,000 pounds 64 tons combat loaded. Its maximum armor thickness was 279 millimeters compared to 180 millimeters on the German Tiger II, and its 105 millimeter gun was almost a meter longer than the Tiger II's 88 millimeter. Developed at the same time and closely related to the T-29 was the T-30 heavy tank, it was virtually identical to the T-29, but mounted a 155 millimeter T-7 gun and featured a more powerful engine and an extra crew member to help load the gun. In 1945, with the war in Europe already over, the T-29 and T-30s were classified as limited procurement. As a result, only a small batch of pilot models were constructed the final variation of the T-29 concept was the heavy tank T-34, which mounted a 120 millimeter gun. There were only two prototypes of the T-34, one converted from one of the T-29 pilot models and one converted from a T-30. There are a couple of surviving T-29s at Fort Benning, Georgia. One version features a distinctive coincidence rangefinder, a box-like structure projecting from both sides of the turret. This version is not represented here in War Thunder. There is also a surviving T-29 without the rangefinder at the Detroit Arsenal in Warren, Michigan. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the T-29 is a premium rank 4 heavy tank with a battle rating of 6.7. It has a 1,224 horsepower engine propelling the 64.2 ton vehicle to a top speed of 23.2 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 105 millimeter T5 E2 cannon. The recommended ammo load for this vehicle is 41 rounds. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150 which gives me a reload of 13.2 seconds. As a premium vehicle with a premium account, it has an XP reward of 570% and a silver line reward of 300%. So what do I think of the T-29 here in War Thunder? Well, I like this vehicle. I'm really glad that I picked it up when it was on sale last week. It has very good frontal turret and upper hull armor and negative 10 degrees of gun depression, which allows you to be very effective 
from a reverse slope position. And although your armor is good, you are not invulnerable. All tanks do have weak spots on the side and the rear, and this one is no different. Most big boys at this tier can penetrate your frontal armor with a well-placed shot or if they're close enough. But a lot of the time, the thickness of the armor seems to mitigate the damage that you receive if you do get penetrated. The 105 millimeter high velocity cannon is very good and for the most part is ample to deal with everything at this tier. So overall, I'm enjoying this tank and I think it can be very effective if you don't get overconfident and drive out in the open and let everybody and their mama shoot at you. Now that being said, why don't we hop into a battle? See what I was able to do with the heavy tank, T-29. Here we go. Alright, looks like we picked up Stalingrad. Yeah. Not my favorite map, but uh, I think we'll be able to work with it. Oh, yeah. Three cap points. We are on the western side. Okay, I'm going to head over toward C, I think. At least that general side of the map. Um, I think it'll be less likely to have somebody come around the corner and pop me in the side. I think we'll be able to fit through here. Just nicked it. I'm gonna come around the back side of these hills instead of going over the top of the hills like that panther did. Take me just a little bit longer, but I'll feel a little bit safer. I need to remember that the front of my tank needs to face the enemy as much as possible. Alright, we got a red enemy marker on the map. It just disappeared. slow getting over here. Starting to see some red lights in front of me. Oh, there's somebody right there. That was an IS-2 right through the front and there's some little bits of light color red right over there. Not bright. Oh, what do we got? I don't like them being on. Oh, somebody just smoked up. But I can still see this guy. Oh, I missed him. Alright, 
we're reloaded. Oh, there he goes. There we go. More smoke. I do like the new smoke feature in this latest update. anybody in there. Get it nothing. Oh, what do we got over here? Oh, missed that shot. Dang it. Let's see. Turn my turret sideways to that tiger there. So we've eliminated that. What do we got here? Another tiger? But if I pull forward and turn to the right to try to shoot that Russian tank again, I think it was a KP. I'm going to leave this side of my turret exposed. There we go. That guy was behind that rubble. Thought I could be quick enough. Tra traverse on this thing is pretty good for as big as this turret is. Let's see. Is he going to come out? What is that? M41. I'd be able to penetrate him anywhere. Uh, right through there. Okay. Come on, tiger. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Nope. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe I should have called him earlier. Or is that a different one? What's this? Oh, it's a Tiger H1. This needs to come out a little bit more. Let's get it, get it, Artillery fire. And we're just gonna move around to this side of the mount in the mound. Come on, don't back up. Don't back up. Oh, another one. There's two of them. Ah, <sighs> just hit that upper glacis and freaking 
ricocheting just a little bit. out there and I'm gonna pop him. All right, let's go over here and see if we can front up these tigers. Got all three cap points. Ooh. There we go. The gun's damaged. Be aggressive. Now then, he doesn't know. Get a little repair in. Replenish my crew. All right, turret complement is full. Let's see what we got. go. Oh. oh, dang, I hit the side of that building. Okay. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty. Dang it. Turn green. Ah. Uh, I got a dang flower barrel. Lots of guys heading this way according to the mini-map. Alright, guns back up. Lots of artillery coming in. There you go. Okay, we got two guys heading to my left over here. And still got an enemy tank on this side. Oh, man. What is this? Oh, that's a tiger tube, I think. All right. All right. Minus the tiger two. We still got one guy. Oh, this guy over here. Oh, good. He dunked that shot. I was lucky. Oh, and I returned. 
return the favor and dunk that one. Still got another guy on the other side. Is they're bookending this building there. Let's see. Yep. Is he going to come around over there? I don't know. Oh, he's pulling out. He's pulling out. There you go. And this guy. Come on, turn, turn. All right. Bounce that. Oh, this is going to be bad for you. There you go. Okay. Park right here where I can watch and repair. Only thing I see on the mini map is some AAA. This way, I feel like I have a little more cover on this side than I do on the other side. It's almost over. I Come on. Dang it. I don't know if I got that or not. All right. Let's take a look at what we got. Tank Rescuer. Avenger. Professional. Shadow Strike Streak, One Shot, Survivor, and Heavy Metal Hero. We destroyed 14 ground targets. Not too bad. First place in the team. 108,210 silver lines. That's with a premium account. Not too bad. Right, the T29. I am liking this tank. Um, yeah, if you missed out uh, picking this thing up when it was on sale, I'm sorry. Uh, next time it goes on sale, you might want to grab it if you need to grind uh, American. Uh, yeah, I like it. Um, you do have the T-34 in the regular tech tree. If you don't want to go the premium route, it has the 120 millimeter instead of the 105. But uh, this gives you the extra research and credits as a premium vehicle. If you've liked this look at the T-29, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.